Thanks so much, Claire. Um, it's great just to have some time just to sit and reflect on the programme so far. Um, you've implemented it across the school here. So I'm just keen to hear your your side, really, and why it was um, the right programme for your school at the mm -hmm. time. Well, first of all, the context of the school when I started, the school had just gone into special measures, and I started just after the school went into special measures, and I was met by a staff who were quite deflated mm. um, by pupils who had not been exposed to text. So at home, many of the children don't hear bedtime stories. I was found myself saying to lots of children on their way out, where's your book bag, where's your book bag? Mm. Oh, no, we don't have book bags, we don't oh, take books oh. home. Um, so I knew that we needed a programme that really exposed our children to real text and real stories and stories that would bring alive the whole passion of, of reading. Yes. So it wasn't just about the phonics for no, me, it was also good. about the real text and the real stories for the children. Um, what really made me feel that yes it was definitely the right program was when all of our books arrived so the teachers eyes lit up at this <laughs> delivery and in fact even when I ordered the books the lady in the in the library said what a lucky school because oh. she was just delighted by this list of texts that we were about to bring into to our school for the children Oh. So once the books had arrived, um, we, I knew then it was absolutely the right thing um, for the children and for the, for the teachers. Oh, that's so good to hear and it is that inspiring young readers to love books, yeah. a lifetime love of books and I know as a school that's the, the heart of your curriculum now. Absolutely. What's been the impact then from regards to the teaching? Because I know you've observed lessons and also from the children. Mm -hmm. I think the biggest thing, the biggest impact has been the fun and the passion. So teachers have loved finding resources because they're not just delivering a flat yeah. kind of text um, they're delivering a real story a real book that they've lots of them have seen sitting around in the classrooms and in the school library f you know for, for years but it's about the fun that they can bring through the text teachers have spent time making resources dressing up <laughs> um, putting children in costumes um, because they've loved it because they can see the fun and the passion that it can bring for the children yeah Good. I know some children uh, said to me when I visited the school, oh, I, I, I asked mum over and over to buy me that book. I just love it, yeah, you know. And yeah. to hear this, these sorts of words is, is just every, every teacher's is, dream. Yeah. Isn't it? And actually we've had to buy extra copies of the books to put into our school library because the children want to take them home. They want to borrow oh. them. Children whose parents have said, you know, actually one parent who said we don't do books in our right. house, which I could have cried when I heard, you know, yeah. we don't do books. Actually, her daughter is wanting to take the books wow. home, wanting to share them. Also, we're finding um, the impact on writing. Mm. So I've been in lessons where children have been writing and they've been trying to sound out words that they want to write. And you see them looking up at the story time yes. washing line yes. to find, they know where, they, where to find, you know, the, the sound that they're trying to write. Yes. They, they'll look up. And then some children um, talk to me about the fact that they just know where it is. Just looking up mm, reminds memorized. them, they've memorised yes, yes. sort of where it is on the washing line. And so mm. in terms of that sort of memorable experience, and it isn't yeah. just a lesson for the children, it is an experience because the teachers are taking the children outside into our environment, they're taking them into sort of cosy nooks in the school. Yes. Um, so it's an experience for the children, yeah. not just a, a lesson. I don't suppose you could just spend a bit of time talking about how you've really embedded phonics because children really are applying it across every subject. I'm just keen to know how you've, yeah. how you've taken it. Well, we've, we've done that in several ways. So first of all, we've made sure it's very visual in the school. So everywhere you go in the school, there are reminders of, of the text and of um, the resources are everywhere. So children can pick up and sort of the hands-on resources that teachers have made and that we, we've brought in. So it's everywhere in the school. That's the mm. first thing. And also we're referring to it not in a separate we are now teaching phonics. Okay, yes. children, phonics has finished. It's actually across the curriculum. So when they're writing in a topic lesson or yes. um, when they're outside playing, because we're using the outside, they might be playing at playtime mm. on the bridge that's been used in a phonic lesson. So they're actually then, you know, retelling those stories for themselves. Yes. Also, we've used it with some of our older children who um, their acquisition of phonics when they were in, in our earlier years wasn't as successful as we would like. So we have been able to use the programme um, as an intervention. And again, those children, even though they're older children, mm. the thing they tell us is they love the story. Yes. They love the book. They love the text. They love the colourful pictures. So they don't feel as if they're sitting in 
a kind of an intervention phonics lesson. Yes. You're, we're now doing yeah. some catch up with you. They feel as if they're sharing a text with a teacher that they enjoy, um, and then there's an application of that, and they you know they can apply that to their writing. I was speaking with your inclusion manager um, and just reviewing the progress of the children, and she was saying that. Um, in a few cases where the children are dyslexic, the multi-sensory approach yeah. is really supporting their kinesthetic needs. Yeah. And so from that take, it, this is why it's so inclusive, the programme, supporting every type of learning. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And, and the children who, we've got some EAL children, so again, for those children, it gives them a hook for yes. their learning. They can, they can pick up something that will remind them, ah, that's what we did. When, um, yeah. So for those children, it's been really successful as well. Well, thanks so much, Claire, and um, hopefully now you've inspired other head teachers to take a, a leap of faith yeah. and know that it's the right thing for their Absolutely. school. Absolutely. We wouldn't go back. Thank you. Mm -hmm.